When a person trusts in Christ, they are immediately saved from their sin. There's nothing else that they must do. Christ has done everything for them, but it still needs to be genuine trust, genuine faith. And this kind of faith goes on to serve Christ. When Jesus was on the cross, two criminals were being crucified with him. One of them cursed Jesus, but the other professed faith in Jesus for the first time. And Jesus told him, today you will be with me in paradise. Jesus didn't tell the criminal, sorry buddy, it's too late. You've made your choices and now it's time to suffer for him. No, Christ accepted the man's faith. And Jesus told the man that he would go to heaven on that very day. Now this new believer didn't have a chance to practice his new faith in Christ, but that really doesn't matter. Jesus saw that this man's faith was real, and knowing that the man would die that very day, Jesus promised him eternal life. But if that criminal would not have died that day, he would have gone on to serve Christ. He would have been a completely new person. He wouldn't have been perfect, but he would have had joy in Christ that caused him to serve God. Now how do I know all this? How do I know that this criminal wouldn't have gone back to his old lifestyle, breaking laws, and then answering for his crimes? It's because Jesus and Paul and James and so many others in the New Testament made it clear that although good deeds don't save us. They do overflow out of the life of a Christian. Does your life look any different because of your faith in Christ? If not, you need to take a close look at your faith and ask if you genuinely believe in Christ. I'm not saying we'll be perfect, but I am saying that we should be different. And I'm saying that we'll have a joy in Christ that compels us to live different. Living for Jesus until the day that he takes us to to be with him forever in paradise. God bless you and see you tomorrow.